Honolulu police confirmed the man who was pulled from waters at Three Tables Beach yesterday has died. Military officials say the 29-year-old soldier was based in Washington state. It's the third drowning on Oahu's North Shore in less than a month. Nikki Schenfeld has the story. On Monday afternoon, three people were snorkeling at three tables when they got into trouble with a rising swell. Unfortunately, we had people that came to this beach uh, with mask and snorkel gear and jumped in the water, got stuck in trouble, got caught in the rip current. Two were rescued from the water, but the 29-year-old was seen caught behind the reef. And they're all waving, and the wave literally blew them right over the table, and she, both of them were cut head to toe after that, and then the third guy, he, he was under. Olson lives across from three tables and has made many rescues himself over the years. He said the man was under for over 30 minutes. Between the fire rescue and the lifeguard rescue, there was 10 guys out there risking their lives trying to find them. The man was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. Madigan Army Medical Center at Joint Base Lewis McCord in Washington confirmed one of their soldiers had passed away. According to state health department data, ocean drownings were on the rise up until the pandemic, with a record number of deaths in 2017 and 2022. The Department of Health says more than 50% of drownings are visitors. The double drowning that happened last month happened at the beach just behind those rocks. Both are non-guarded beaches. Honolulu Ocean Safety says they have a lot of support from the public and the city on getting a new tower somewhere up here on the North Shore. Ideally, in a perfect world, we would have a tower at every beach. That's a slow process over time that we hope to accomplish. There has been a lot of deaths here. And as far as the tower is concerned, it's a toss-up. We need two towers. Many say it's needed at Keiki or Three Tables. Both places are, are just too dangerous for the amount of people coming here. Ocean Safety wants to remind visitors of the extreme winter surf and says most beaches are not safe to swim from October through April. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.